Hello everybody, I'm Nick Sharrett and this is my brand new book, Tea Party Parade, which I have to say I am really excited about. We're going to have a look at the story and then we're going to do some drawing. Tea Party Parade There's the most enormous teapot in the playground. There are great big cups and saucers by the slide. There's a giant jug of juice near the bushes, a jolly large jelly next to the fence, and jumbo jam tarts round the tree. There are slices of cake on the hopscotch and slabs of Swiss roll in the goals. What's going on? Well, every spring on the first Saturday in May, the schools in the town have a children's parade. This time it's class one's turn to take part. Yes! It's all very exciting. Class one have been busy making costumes with a little help from the grown-ups. They've been planning and sketching and measuring and tearing and gluing and cutting and sewing and stapling and painting and spraying and stenciling. Class one are dressing up as a tea party. And now it's time for an after school parade practice. Here comes class one. They find their groups and help each other get into their costumes. Mr Flack, Gabby, William, Soraya, Lucy, Freya, Jason and Todd are the Jam Tart Squad. Michael, Prina, Scarlett, Stanley, Dev and Prue are the Teacup Crew. Oliver, Amelie, Abdullah, Grace Thomas, Tallulah, Summer and Cole are Team Swiss Roll. Tilly, Benji, Christopher, Rose, Gina, Toby, Marcus and Anne are the Sponge Cake Gang. Mrs Bruce is the Jug of Juice. Miss Kelly is the Jelly. And Mr Stott is the Big Teapot. Mr. Flack blows his whistle, peep, and everyone gets into position. He shouts, ready, steady, go, and they're off. The jam tarts head off across the playground. They bang their drums and shake their maracas. Bang, 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 rattle, rattle, rattle. The teacups follow. Each time Mr. Stott shouts, Time for tea! The teacups run right round him. Team Swiss Roll and the jelly come next. Each time Miss Kelly shouts, Roly Poly! The Swiss Rolls form a line. The sponge cake gang and the jug of juice bring up the rear. Each time Mrs. Bruce shouts, Icing on the cake! The slices make a circle. Class one parades this way, and that way, and this way, and that way, until... Beep! Mr Flack blows his whistle. Good job, everyone, he says. Now we're all set for the parade. Give yourselves a cheer. And they do. Hip, hip, hooray! Class one get out of their costumes and are just about to go home when... Peep! It's Mr Flack again. Just before you leave, he says, we've something for you. Into the playground come Mrs Rose, Mrs Mapp, Mr Ling and Miss Caldercott. And look what they've got. Hip, hip! Hooray! And roll on Saturday. Mm. Excuse me. 
I hope you enjoyed that story. It made me a bit hungry with the pictures of the jelly and the jam tart and the sponge cake and the Swiss roll. Shall we have a go at drawing those things now? Shall we draw a jelly to begin with? The way I would draw a jelly is to draw the four arches. One, two, three, four. Four arches in a row. And on top of those four arches, draw three more. One, two, three. And then on top of that, draw a bigger arch going right across. And right on the top of the jelly, draw a cherry shape. Then join the bottom arches together with a curvy line between each one like this linking them up and then add a plate. So draw a curved line going right round the jelly like that. Carefully draw a curved line and then add another line drawing it very carefully to create the rim of the plate. And now it's time to colour in the jelly. The jelly in the story was pink, so I guess it was a raspberry jelly, but uh, you could make your jelly any flavour you want. Uh, strawberry, lemon and lime, orange, cherry, it's up to you. Uh, and when I colour in the cherry on the top, I'm going to leave a little bit of it white to make it look like it's shiny. Can you see there's a little dot of white on it? And of course, the plate can be any colour too. You could even do a pattern on your plate, maybe do a pattern along the rim of the plate to make it look extra jolly. Let's draw a Swiss roll. Start off with a circle like this. And inside that circle, draw a swirl. And then come back with the swirl to make the cream inside the Swiss roll. Draw two straight lines coming away from the Swiss roll and join them together with a curved line for the back of the Swiss roll. Shall we draw some slices of Swiss roll too? Okay, draw an oval about the same width across as the circle and add two straight lines for the edges of the slice Then carefully draw a curved line along the bottom and add a swirl and take the line back again for the cream Let's do one more. Draw an oval shape. Two lines for the sides of the slice. A curved line along the bottom. And a swirl of cream inside the slice like this. There you go. And when you colour in your Swiss roll, you could make it a chocolate Swiss roll with white icing. You could make it a plain Swiss roll with jam. Or you could use your imagination and make it a special exotic flavour that you've invented for yourself. I'm going to add one final touch to my Swiss roll and put some sugar on the outside of it. Let's have a go at drawing some jam tarts now. So start off with an oval shape and then draw a wobbly line going around the oval which is the crust of the jam tart, like that. Then two sloping lines for the sides of the jam tart case and a curved line joining them together. And the jam on the top of a jam tart isn't absolutely smooth, so add a few little lines to give it a bit of texture. Let's draw another one. Start off with an oval, 
add a pastry crust. Two sloping lines for the side of the jam tart case. And joined together by a curved line and a few little texture marks in the jam. One more for luck. An oval shape. Pastry surround with a wavy line. Two sloping sides joined together by a curved line and a few little marks in the jam. Time to colour in the jam tarts. I'm going to make the fillings strawberry jam, black currant jam, or maybe that's plum jam, and apricot jam. Okay, the next thing we're going to draw is the big sponge cake. So start off with two lines like this and join them together with an oval shape for the top of the cake. Now draw three straight lines going down here and here, same length, and try and make that third line the same length as well. Can you see they're all the same length? Okay, so we're going to draw a straight line there where the slice of cake has been cut and taken out and then we're going to draw a curved line there. So that's our cake shape. And let's add some jam inside the cake. Very carefully draw the jam and we need to draw a bit of jam inside where the cake's been cut, so add some jam there too, like that. And I think the icing might just come down the side of the cake a little bit, so add an edge to the icing like that. Let's put some cherries on top of the cake, going round like that. And how about putting the cake on a plate? Let's very carefully draw a curved line going around the cake like that. Takes a bit of patience. And then another curved line for the rim of the plate going round like that. So our cake is now standing on a plate. When you colour your cake in, you could make it a plain sponge, like the one in the book, with white icing and red cherries on the top of it. Or you could make it a chocolate cake with delicious chocolate icing on the top and chocolate cream in the middle, different shades of brown. Or perhaps a carrot cake, which might be light brown with little carrot decorations on the top. Use your imagination. You could invent a whole load of different delicious looking cakes. And don't forget to colour the plates in too. Now let's draw a slice of cake. The slice of cake that was cut out of the big cake. So two straight lines like that. Joined together with a slightly curved line. And then three lines coming down. One there. One there. Coming straight down one there. Now they should all be the same length and let's join these two lines together with a curved line like at the top like that and then these two lines together with a straight line and put some filling in your cake with two lines there and two slightly curved lines there and a little bit of icing coming down the side like that. Let's put a cherry on top of this cake. Have we got room for a plate? Let's try. 
Yep. Okay, let's draw a curved line going all the way around. And another curved line for the rim of the plate. And there is a slice of cake on a plate. I'm going to colour this slice in just like it is in the book. But again, you could use your imagination and make your cake any flavour and any colour that you fancied. Mmm. Sorry, I couldn't resist a bit of cake. Now that you're experts at drawing lovely things to eat, how about doing something else and making some food characters? Draw your jelly or your cake, then add arms, hands, legs, feet and a face. You could invent some fantastic food characters and it could even be the start of your own food story. Mm, I just had to have a bit of jam tart. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed our Tea Party Parade session today. If you want to find out more about Class 1 and the things that they get up to, have a look out for this book, Splash Day. It was written and illustrated by me too. I'm going to say goodbye now. Happy reading, happy drawing, and I hope to see you again sometime. Bye-bye. <laughs>